You're spooning me next time. All right, here we go. <clears throat> oh. I'm so sorry, Deborah. <laughs> Just you stay away from me, okay? something that's very much post post irony but he wouldn't understand that he's a typical los santos self-hating hipster man these young cats is crazy you no know? that's inconsequential i told him i'd make a movie about his ass and call it cunts in america but that will be the post-ironic use of the word cunt, both offensive and at the same time, curiously anodyne. <clears throat> hey, what the fuck? I find your t-shirt more than a little offensive. If there's one thing I cannot stand, it's post-ironic hipsters. If you don't like it, you can go back to Canada, dude. Come on, you want a piece of me, huh? Oh, wait, oh, fuck! Oh, Run, fuck! you little fuck! Oh, no! 
a favor. You're so superior! I'm lost. Can you give me a ride home, please? Sure thing. I love hitchhikers. Finally, a nice man. Thank you. I live out at Catfish View, Mount Gordo, by the lighthouse. It's very isolated. Am I glad you came along? I was out hiking and got lost. I've been trying to flag down a car for over an hour. Why didn't you just call someone to come pick you up? I couldn't get a signal on my cell. And I don't really have anyone to call, not since Mama passed. She was very hard on me, but how I loved her. I have her hair in my backpack. Okay, what? The days get long out at that house all alone. I don't get many visitors anymore. Gardner used to come on Fridays till he got real sick and fell off that cliff. So, well, you know how they like to talk, but now, it's just me, living on soup. Soup I make from old soup. Soup after soup after soup. I have to get out of there sometimes and clear my head. Those damn birds always singing no matter how many times I poison them. Bird soup. Soup with bird. Birds with soup. Every night I think I found peace, but then morning comes and with it another Fresh Lucky out. miss! I come up here to escape them and they're still singing, taunting me! No, the house hasn't been the same since Mama passed. Most days, I just work on my project so I can be rich and have all the gentleman callers I want, like a real lady sipping on tea on a porch. You know, I love working with rubber, burning it, tasting it. You've got shoes. You've got feet, am I right? Hello? Clothy cloth ears, are you listening? You've got shoes, you've got feet, am I right? Uh, I'm not gonna say you're wrong. But what about shoes that look like feet? Oh, you mean toe shoes? Yes, shoes that look like feet, that's what I just said. Shoes that look like feet, shoes that look like feet, feet that have shoes on them that are feet. Because, you know, you can buy those already. No, you can't, Mr. Silly Pants. How can you buy them already if I haven't made them already? Dummy, dummy, dum-dums. I like you. You're silly. The gardener was silly. He got sick. Folk talk. You sure you're okay? Are you okay? Because... This guy who picked me up the other week wasn't okay. He choked to death on his own hand. 
Yeah, okay, it's official. You're crazy. Crazy Maisie sitting on a daisy. Oh, what are you gonna do, spank me? Shave me? Lock me in the cellar with a spider called Molly Foster? Dress me up as a boy and make me drink through a little pink straw? Because you can. Mama oftentimes would. Don't pick your scars. Stop eating soil. Where's your pony, little girl? I'm Johnny now. The pony's dead. I hate you. I love you. Will you be my daddy? And this is why you don't pick up hitchhikers. OK, I'm fine. Focus on the sunshine. Go to the garden. Pick them pretty flowers. I'm sorry. I didn't mean nothing. I get so anxious ever since Mama took Blanky away and burned him. You seem like such a nice man. Have you ever drunk a mint julep? Why do I always go and ruin everything? Just like I did with that litter of puppies. I'll just be quiet. Yeah, maybe that's a good idea. This, watch it. This is it, thank you. Here's my number, will you call me sometime? I get so lonely out here all by myself. I love you.
lessons. How you doing, Trev? Fine. For a guy who just went into an air base and stole a chopper, are we ready to go on this thing? If it's a heavy lift chopper, then yeah, I'll get everything ready and I'll call you. All right. Are you about to get some ass whooping? Shit, dick! Come on, then. make me suffer. Hellfire! Say it how it is, man. We are being watched, listened to, and spied on. Hey, Ron. Hey, Trevor. All good, Ronald? Always good when we're together, T.
I bet I could hit your G sharp every time. You guys were amazing tonight. Ah, you know. Chin stainer is like my ultimate breakup song. That track is so fucking layered, man. It's like a Renaissance painting, buried in all the knobs and titties as art. You know what I mean? You got any chewing gum or benzos on you? Oh, uh, no, I don't. I'm sorry. Have the others left already? Yeah, they went back to the hotel. Percy forgot to take his statins this morning and Jez's prostate skiing him jet. Is it true that you guys trashed the suite? Nah, that's just a PR thing. I mean, I still get wrecked every night, but it doesn't define me. You know, if these bands could talk, I'd have to kill them. I know every word of Dangerous Bastard. I remember one gig we did here in the 80s. So many people overdosed, it's officially classified as genocide. Oh, I wish I'd been born to see that. How old are you anyway, sweetheart? I'm 20. Oh, I mean, I'm like 22. You can't be too careful. Every celeb in Britain's getting done for jailbait these days. This is awkward. I've got nothing left to say. I mean, normally the lasses are gobbling me by now. That's fine. I don't mind just watching you. with Love Fist's manager. That's so cool. Oh, some of the shit I've seen, Love, it's unimaginable. You know, if Jez and the guys hadn't gotten so into yoga and probiotics nowadays, we'd all be dead. Well, I burned through the last of my dopamine on the second comeback tour in 05. The doctors reckon I'll never laugh again. Whoa, that's so awesome. I've been on the road with the Fist since 2002. I'm heavily involved with the creative. So they are working on new material. Ah, uh, they're still doing covers of their 80s stuff. Clear the Custard is like my favorite album ever. When I tell my friends I'm into Love Fist, they're like, ew, that's like making out with your grandfather. And I'm like, yeah, if my grandfather, like, totally grew his hair and wore leather pants. Oh, yeah. I don't care what people say. Willie is still totally hot. I mean, even after the hip replacement. So is it true that Willie wears women's underwear? Are they really all bisexual? Ah, oh, we're British, love. Let me tell you something. We make up our sexuality as we go along. Whoa, I am majorly stoned, like, seriously. Do you want to level that out with some H? Or a, a line of K? That's what I always do. Gets you nice and fluffy. Until you're in a K-hole, taking in the A-hole, you haven't lived. Oh, <laughs> you guys are so funny. Everyone went so quiet. <laughs> hey, it's fine. Just enjoy the high, dude. Okay, which one of you cupcakes is Willie? Hey, who the fuck are you? <laughs> His dentist. Well, he's still downstairs chatting up some bird, man. Whoa, his dentist comes to him? That is so cool. Hey, man, no more autographs. Hey, that's okay. I <laughs> hey, man, You're out of your fucking mind! Somebody stop that nutter!
I'd say my work is done here. Guess what, you crazy English fruitcake? Oh, I'm dreadful at guessing. Aren't I, Mrs. Thornhill? No, she can't hear me. She's washing out a nappy from Samantha Muldoon's dustbin. Yeah, uh, one gold tooth, courtesy of Love Fist, complete with complimentary DNA. Marvelous, marvelous. Oh, Jock, I knew you wouldn't let us down. Toodaloo! It's a guy chasing a dog! What is it with you people? Doggy! Come on, doggy! Be good to daddy! <clears throat> gotcha, you little bastard! There, there. I know, this is weird for all of us. You're gonna make a batshit crazy lady very happy. <sighs> okay, uh, now get back to Jerry before she uses this as an excuse to go back to rehab. Celebrity newsflash! Maniac steals collar from Carrie McIntosh's dog in Rockford Hills! Oh, how delightful! Mrs. Thornhill will have me sporting that in the bedroom before the week is out. <laughs> oh, I, I, I joke, of course. <laughs> we really can't thank you enough for all the effort you're going to to make our holiday so special. Ah, don't mention it. I always enjoy meeting people more chemically unbalanced than myself.
locked. Come on, get in the hot tub with me. I'm bored. I think that pill you gave me is wearing off. I've been watching you do laps for like two hours now. Hey, who the fuck are you? Yo, what do you think? Hey, they just took my clothes. Hello, this is Nigel. Please be quick, I'm roaming in the United States of America. It's me, you nutcase. I picked up some clothes from your friend Tyler Dixon. There's even a skid mark. What fantastic news! Wait till Mrs. Thornhill hears about this. Oh, she will be pleased as punch. Okay? She bet she's young, young, beautiful. Have you tried to get a job these days? Cheese. It's like a 2.9 GPA doesn't mean anything.
in like it's their mama's skirt. Did I tell you I have a live-in golf coach at my place in Milan now? Man, sometimes I wish I wasn't so photogenic. These associate producers, you give them an inch. I can't take a shit without security these days. There's fame, then there's my kind of fame. Each of these clubs costs more than I paid my assistant last year. You know, this new stance was developed by a team of Russian sports scientists. I'd replace every actor with CGI if I could. I'm finally feeling good about my downswing. There's an exact replica of me hitting balls in Omsk as we speak. Woo! I'm on fire today. Sure, it's nice not to be on set for once. Hiding behind the union like it's their mama's skirt. Did I tell you I have a live-in golf coach at my place in Milan now? Man, sometimes I wish I wasn't so photogenic. Hey, you! Get out of here! These...
up in the trunk of this thing! Is that it, Mrs. Thornhill? I, uh, persuaded Mark Faustenberg to donate one of his golf clubs to your Museum of Dysfunction. Oh, bravo! It will take pride of place on the wall above Jill von Krastenberg's pregnancy test. <laughs> Speak to you soon! I love Americans. You're all so brash and uncomplicated. <laughs> 